A new high-speed train is being tested right here in Southern Colorado. It's the first passenger train to be both high-speed and have the highest rating in clean emissions. Carity on News Channel 13's Colleen Sikora shows us this new style of train travel. Copy. Go ahead. It's been in the works for years. At 125 miles per hour, it can run a marathon in about 12 minutes. We're talking about moving people a lot faster, a lot more comfortably. Siemens Rolling Stock President Michael Cahill is out to see this Charger Diesel electric locomotive running at full force. It's what we call a clean diesel. It's got a massive reduction in emissions from previous locomotives. Right now, we're running about 25 to 45 miles an hour faster than the average passenger train in the United States. But what's also unique about this locomotive is it's running 90% cleaner than other locomotives currently on the rails in the United States. You can brake using the motors then as generators, and that generates electricity that can be put back into using uh, used in the train to run the air conditioners in the, in the coaches, run the lights, etc., and charge the batteries. The high speed clean diesel locomotive costs about $6 million. It's also equipped with the best safety technology. If there is a, a crash or any, um, any type of a, uh, accident, then these locomotives are equipped to deal with that in the best way possible. Reliability is a huge factor when you're trying to run a passenger rail service that, you know, if our customers know the service is reliable, uh, they're going to ride the service more. Ron Pate works with the Washington State Department of Transportation. They'll be using these locomotives after testing is finished. We're, we're seeing growth in the service right now with these new locomotives. People in Washington State are very excited to ride this service. For passengers, the Charger locomotive will be a significantly smoother ride. Quiet, smooth, the acceleration is just phenomenal from what I can see, and, I, and we're very excited. In Pueblo, Colleen Sikora, KRDO. News Channel 13. All right, that's good stuff. Now, after testing is finished, the new locomotive will take to the railways in Maryland, California, Washington, and Illinois by the end of the year. Wow, very.